it is good to note at this point that Kenya, just like many African nations, are still working on experimented democracy. The strength of budding democracies like Kenya is the strength of a very stable uh, election body. Uh, looking into Jabogati, you could see the agony, you could see the pain in him. But it's also important to note at this stage, remember 2007 we had uh, Kivitu, and we've come a long way with so many commissioners, and from Jesoni to where we are today. Mm -hmm. And there is no single election in Kenya unless for the 2002, which was accepted gracefully. All other elections have been disputed in this country. So one, in my view, is that as we mature democracy in Africa, and I want to confess that Africa is rising because it is even a, a new functionality. In the past, we have never had these kinds. In the, in the days of Kanu, for example, you would go to Amrilongo and people were declared winners there. Mm -hmm. So it's been a progress. What I would only appeal is that much as we may even get the right person to head a commission, mm -hmm. but as long as sitting govern governments refuse to accept democracy, we will still be really in pain. What we have witnessed in Kenya in the past and even in other African nations is militarization of government. Because when we militarize government, it means that we are moving away from the popular civilian opinion into a determination by a sitting president to win an election or to have his own projects win elections. So first of all, we need to change the mindset of government and accept that even as government, I could be the president today. But when the voice of people will speak, we must gracefully accept the voice of the people. And this will lead us into a more, you know, more, more acceptable situation. Secondly, the opposition should also accept and even competitors in any election, that it is not a must for you to win an election. And if you don't win an election, it doesn't mean you are rigged out. Because the other problem we've had in this country is that you go to an election, and then you lose this election, brokers, political brokers come around you and close to you and tells you they are lying to you, chief, you actually won the election. Then you reject the election. So we have our situations of a fair laws, but rejecting the fair laws. And we have a situation of no win, but forcing a win to happen. So structurally, as we move forward and as we build our institutions, it is important to delink the institutions from government operatives. Even this process of a uh, selection process of getting and regretting a new IPC uh, chair, for, for me, I would really you know, call upon the actors to look into the character of an individual. Indeed, Jabukati went through a difficult time. But had it not for his strong character, this nation would have sunk. Just like Hillary saying, I was actually at Bombers with Hillary, and we never changed a shirt. And at some point, I got, I, you know, I was just from the university, and, and I never knew elections were going to be this murky. I was getting scared. I was almost hiding. Because I saw people were mad. Be, be, decent people, decent human beings were turning chaotic. And fits all over. And I can tell you that he went through a very difficult time because truth be said, the then government was determined to win that elections by crook or fair. And the margin and the competition was so close. Okay. But except this, even if you are defeated by one foot, is a defeat. Number two can never be a winner. Mm. And democracy is often very competitive. And in this case, we must accept Governor, the of democracy. Please clarify this for me. When you say militarization of government, what yes. does that mean in the context of the 2022 election? I would say this yeah, very objectively. From 2013, 2017, up to where we are today, and even post. Two or two, I think Moi in his sunset years mm. could be even a statesman now and he talked because he gracefully accepted that, that loss. But there has always been an element of government militarization where we weaponize the police, we weaponize uh, the, the military around it. You know, there are two ways of ruling there is the military, military ideology and now the philosophical ideology behind it. But what we have seen in Kenya often in an election is the military ideological rule for that matter. And I would say this, without a blank of an eye, if you could see the process of the police, I tell you, you could see the police 
a, a, a big contingent of police in bombers. When fights are there, they're just standing like this. And they're just watching. They are not either trying to stop it or anything, but they are, it's like they're also enjoying every bit of it. What are they supposed to do? I even go separate them, talk to them, calm down. But now when a member of a divide tries to rise up, you could receive a very serious slap. 